Hello, Interwebs. Kaza here for VGSports.com. Here with the game recap of an absolute thrilling show of VG versus Old Dominion in men's soccer here at Sportsbacker Stadium. The first half of VG versus Old Dominion was a treat. It didn't start off hot as Old Dominion scored in the seventh minute to take an early 1-0 lead. But from there, VCU took over, especially Luke Vuitton, who put on himself a show with a hat trick in less than six minutes. Heading into the half, the Rams led 3-1. The second half was more of the same as VCU continued to dominate Old Dominion. Old Dominion did put a lot of pressure and up the attack a lot to try and equalize, but VCU stayed strong and stayed firm in defense and led a lot of counterattacks for VCU. The Rams eventually scored two more goals thanks to Jorge Herranz and a beautiful 40-yard strike from Rafael Dos Santos to give the Rams a 5-1 win here at Sportsbackers. Black and gold, baby. All day, every day. <laughs> Kaza here with VCSports.com. We just saw a thrilling, dominating victory for VCU men's soccer. 5-1. to I'm here with head coach Dave Gifford. Uh, Gifford, what are your thoughts on this? Dominating performance by the VCU team. Well, I don't know if it was dominating. I think uh, ODU is a very good team. Uh, they're well coached. Uh, they, you know, we've had a few games like this over the last four or five years where uh, the score, I don't know, is necessarily uh, a feeling that made you ever feel relaxed. And at 5 1, I thought, oh, you know, shoot, uh, they could score four here at any point. And so it never, uh, the game was very open. I tell you, I was proud of our guys. After about 15 minutes, you know, they, they realized how hard they had to work and how hard they had to fight to then earn the right to be able to play. And uh, I thought it was a good adjustment, and, and we got into the game after we spotted them, um, you know, a goal, which was disappointing. But uh, I was really impressed with our response. And, you know, it's been a, it's been a tough early start to the season here. Um, you know, I thought we had a few games that, I mean, we just crushed the other team and had the win. Um, you know, really, really lopsided, heavy uh, shot count opportunities. And, you know, we got punished for some things. We're, we're trying to figure out what's the right combination of players, what's the right uh, shape. Tonight we kind of came into a different shape. Uh, had a few days to train to kind of do some things with that. Um, you know, and, and so momentum is a, is a funny thing. Uh, you come out of the first weekend 2-0, and which I think we, you know, deserve to do. Um, you're probably feeling a little different as you go through the next few. You come out of the first weekend 0-2, and, and now it's, uh, you know, you, you start to question some things. You, you miss some chances, and guys start to press a little bit, and they get nervous, and they're worried about that. And, you know, we just tried to focus this week on, uh, you know, working hard, doing the things you're supposed to do, just focusing on... Uh, on the process and how you how you need to play, and uh, I thought tonight we were rewarded for you know for 70 minutes, 75 minutes doing that pretty well. So you were talking about pressure, momentum, and keeping your boys focused. How did you, as a coach, do that going into halftime with the lead that you did to keep these two playing at the pace that they did? Well, you know, I think a couple things. One is this year we do have a lot of good players. And, and so the, the nice thing is, is you can call upon a lot of different guys to come in, which they did tonight. Um, and so, you know, that's not something that we've always had here. We're, we're little, a uh, little deeper and of, of a lot of solid guys. And so I feel like, uh, you know, the boys, the boys we brought on and, and uh, the guys that came back after halftime, we came back the way we started the game. But then as we kept bringing guys on, I thought the tempo stayed high. I didn't think we always, you know, did the right things. Uh, and that's, you know, part of maybe some of those guys needing to get into games like this where, again, even with the score, it was, uh, it was a game that until the final whistle blew, you didn't know for sure how it was going to go. Uh, and, you know, those are, those are fun games. Uh, so I thought really the, the, the answer to that, Mark, was, was the depth and the guys that came in. And, you know, the guys are, have, have been working hard. And, and, you know, this is a good team. Uh, they're just trying to figure out, and we're all trying to figure out what's the right combination, what's the right shape, and, and then what kind of little details the guys have to focus on and take care of in order to get results. And, you know, tonight it went our way. And uh, it was, I think, a a good payoff for, for some hard work and, and some, honestly, we've done some really good things already in the season and it hasn't always gone our way. Now obviously, a, a big win over your rival, great momentum builder as the season continues. How do you use this as fuel to keep the momentum going into your next couple of matches before a 10 play starts? Yeah, I mean, we, uh, we obviously have a, a, a tough stretch here with ODU and then at St. Louis non-conference, at Akron non-conference. Um, you know, 
college soccer in the last you know five to ten years but even specifically the last four or five years has really become on the men's side incredibly um, competitive I can remember and I probably shouldn't say this but I can remember when I I first started in Division One. There'd be four or five games under schedule. At the, at one of the better programs, you'd think, well, as long as we all get off the bus and uh, you know guys aren't hung over, you're probably going to win. And now it's to the point where you know we, we kind of come up for air after the first couple weekends, and you see, man, we're you know 0 and 3, 0 and 4, whatever it is, um, and you, you start kind of scratching your head thinking gosh you know what are we doing and, and you know the other teams are pretty good and they're pretty organized they, they got a lot of good coaches I think the level of player in our country uh, the middle has gotten much 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 bigger and so everybody's got pretty good guys that can do some things um, you know you kind of I talked to the guys before uh, one of the games last week and I rattled off you know a bunch of teams who were honestly perennial top 25 teams that were all over uh, and, you know, including last year's defending national champion. And so it's, I think what it says is, is it really speaks to the parity that's in the men's game. Um, it, it speaks to how difficult it is to consistently year in and year out um, get results. Um, you know, one of the things that we do is we do play a certain way, which does open us up to, uh, to potentially getting get scored on. Um, and so uh, you have to learn how to be able to do that while not conceding goals and few chances. Uh, and I thought the guys have, you know, been on a good journey. I think the momentum that you're speaking of, you know, it's important to, uh, it's important to when you do things better and, and uh, you perform well and you train well and you come out here and you play well, it's important to get some results to, uh, I think, from a player's perspective, feel like, all right, there's a payoff. If I do certain things, um, you know, the ball's going to bounce our way, it feels like. And, and I think tonight that was, in the end, probably the best thing for us. Uh, the boys all put in a good shift after about the first 15 minutes where they really worked hard and, and took care of some of the details that had uh, caused us some problems. Um, and they were rewarded for it with five goals. And so we'll take it. Of course, talk about Luke tonight. I mean, really got going. A uh, couple nice goals. Talk about his play uh, all around time. Yeah, I mean, you know, look, we... Uh, <laughs> We know him because we see him every day and we know what he's capable of. And, and in every game, he's created some, some really good looks. Um, you know, he's drawn a couple penalties. He's gotten into spots. I think he, he drew the first goal against Chapel Hill was a penalty that he drew. Then he got in on not quite clean on a breakaway, but close with like 12 minutes to go and, and one that and he routinely finishes and he didn't. Uh, he's had several other looks that he... I think in training most days, or for him, would say, well, that's going to be a tap-in. That's going to be a goal for me. And, and, you know, sometimes in that position, and it's new for him, it's the first time he's ever played as a striker, um, sometimes you, you, it's a difficult thing to manage that pressure you put on yourself of feeling like I've got to, I've got to be the guy that, uh, that finishes off the play. And, you know, instead of kind of feeling good about uh, some of the things that you're doing and, and uh, some of the things you're helping to create for us, you know, it's kind of hard to forget, man, I missed that one or I could have had that one or what would have been different. And I think, you know, for him, as it is for any player that plays in that position, uh, you know, a little bit of confidence and you take a few chances and, uh, you know, that goes a long way to helping you. I mean, he's a guy that, you know, he, he couldn't play against UVA. That was part of uh, part of the arrangement there with him transferring from UVA. And you know, we saw that we didn't really, at this point, have a, a very good viable option in that role. It really hurt our team and the way we played. Um, so his value has been really, really high to us, even though he hasn't gotten a goal yet. And then to get, I think he got three tonight, um, you know, was certainly nice for him. And, and I think it, uh, you know, <laughs> will go a long way to helping him feel a little better. You see guys put a couple in, you tell them, you know, guys are loosening up a little bit, having a little more fun, enjoying themselves. Uh, no, I think I told them, uh, you know, the game's ODU is, uh, is a good team. You know, year in and year out for a lot of years, long before I was at VCU, um, you know, in a lot of sports, that's been a very big rivalry. Allen's a good friend and uh, have a lot of respect for him and his program and his coaching staff. Uh, we knew that they were going to fight and battle until the last whistle. And so, in fact, we said just the opposite. Uh, don't relax. Don't take your foot off the gas. Keep playing. Keep doing things the right way. And uh, expect that, you know, they're going to keep going and keep fighting and keep battling. And, you know, I didn't feel like the game was safe until the last whistle blew.
For more information, including tonight's game recap, galleries, and video, hit us up at vcsports.com for the latest.